feel like a hey. celebrity. Anthony, story. we got another birthday <laughs> wish. We go right back to the phones. Hello, who's this? Who's this? Hey, it's Joe Rogan. What's going on, guys? Rogan. Joe! Rogan. Hey. Nice. I wish he was here to give me a pot lollipop. <laughs> Can you handle it? I don't know. I wouldn't. Hey, I wouldn't be able to. Hey, Joe, we needed you yesterday. We had uh, Randy. Uh, uh, what's his name there? Uh, 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 how do you say? Couture? Yeah, thank you. Tour. Yeah. He, right. was, he was in uh, yesterday. What an animal! Yeah, he, he's in, he's like forty five years old too. Isn't that crazy? He doesn't look it. He's still swinging. Yeah, absolutely. Well, happy birthday, sir. Thank you, Joe. How what old are, you? are you, man? Are you telling people? Uh, forty four. Really? Yeah. Forty flurf, flurf, forty flurf, 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 flurf. I said that the other right day. Here. It was one of those, uh, you know. I, I still think I'm like forty four. What does not. it matter? You're not a woman. I know. I said I'm forty seven. Yeah, there you but, go. But I was like forty flurf. Mm. Like, uh, I, because I and I said that not trying to cover it up. Mm -hmm. It just when popped out of my out? mouth like that. When I turned forty, like it didn't bother me nearly as much as as starting to get gray ball hairs. <laughs> <laughs> that, it, that really sucks. Gray ball hairs. Yeah, I, I found three gray ball hairs before I started shaving my balls. It was an excuse to start shaving uh. my balls. But the truth is, it was to hide the gray ball hairs. It was too much, man. Gray ball hairs. That's your body saying, you know, fuck it, making ball hair color. Let's just keep this dude alive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they, do they have yeah, but just cares, for like, men for balls? It's not like it's going to drive. <laughs> probably, they probably do. It's not going to hurt get, getting laid because by, by the time a woman's seeing your ball hairs, you've closed the deal pretty much. <laughs> yeah, she she passed out on a gray ball know, hair. He's going to be like, Fuck, oh, man. wait a minute. You're an old guy. You have a gray ball I hair. I'm out of here. nose two inches from your dick. <laughs> and I saw gray ball hair and went, oh, wait a minute. You're an old guy. <laughs> I don't have gray pubes, but I do have uh, th probably four gray ball hairs. Wow, you should yeah. pluck them. Yeah. I, I yanked Ow. those suckers out like I was Chuck Norris pulling POWs out of bamboo cages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to look at it. That. It's a positive. Your balls are getting this patina. This is this sort of... <laughs> patina. It is. Yes, it's showing age, fine, yeah, fine aging. Yeah. Uh, like Joe, what do you... Leaves. I know you're a like you're you're your own fucking lethal weapon. Joe is uh a very good, yeah, with the Another martial arts. Uh, well, how, what do you feel about uh, uh, guns? How do you feel about firearms? I have guns. Do you? I have guns. I have a compound bow. That's my favorite thing. I like shooting <laughs> compound bow. And bow. And arrows into. I have like fake pigs in my backyard. Fake pigs. Really? Yeah, they're leather pigs. Call police officers, target. sir. What kind of uh, year is this? No, Le leather kidding, pigs. <laughs> yeah, you buy them at the archery store. It's fun. Yeah, you ever but see that? Yeah. I hope I don't ever have to shoot anybody. Yeah, see, that's it. You hope, but you're prepared. Yeah, I, now, I definitely would not want... I mean, it's that, that old expression, better to have a gun and not need it than to need it and not have it. Thank you. Now, like, there's now, a lot of douchebags out there, man. Exactly. Joe, have you ever <laughs> worn... Uh, do you have handguns? Yes. Have you ever worn your handgun around your house? Um, when I first moved to L.A., I was super paranoid, mm -hmm. and I did it a couple of times. Because okay. somebody Let me ask Joe this, man. Let me ask you this, Joe. All right. Patrice wants Joe. to know if you've ever folded a $20 bill with Joe. and seen the Twin Towers in back of it, because yeah. there's a big has, conspiracy has, of white people. Joe believes in conspiracies. I, I know yeah. he does. Very few conspiracies. I'm, I'm, I'm accredited for much more conspiracies than I actually believe in. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And, let me ask you this, Which Joe. I guarantee in, in his difference to, from you, you and Joe, mm -hmm. Joe, do you do all this gun? Stuff strictly from the fear, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow. White people. Thank you. Joe doesn't do it from from paranoid fear of black people. You yeah. are putting a racial thing on my paranoia That's, of just being uh, broken into. <laughs> oh, oh, really? You're afraid of white home invaders. There are people from Brentwood Anthony, who are Hispanic that will also break into my Anthony, house. Puerto when you, Ricans and blacks. Just yeah, well, but okay. Anthony, when you're wearing your when you're strapping your gun on, and you have a very vivid image in your mind. It's, it's not it's one of my Jewish guy. neighbors that going. Oh, they, he's that is old a good, that and is he's a armed. Good question. That's the thing. What does when you what does he look like? What, what does he look the like? The fear is black, right? Be, I mean, be the fear. Honest, what does he look like? He looks like Jeff Goldblum from Death Wish, the first one. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> With the fucking Jughead hat, <laughs> beating fucking Bronson's <laughs> wife, really? and calling her a rich cunt. <laughs> he looks like he looks like right. He looks like Swan from the Warriors. Like, yeah. okay. <laughs> what does he? What does he really look like? Here he is. Yeah, he comes in. Goddamn rich cunt! I kill rich cunts. Get Jeff Goldblum I in his greatest rich role cunts. ever. I kill rich. Cunts. Uh, oh, yeah, hilarious. yeah. Let, let me think. He looks like um, Damon. He looks, I'll tell you what he looks like. He looks like every home invader I've seen arrested on the news from Long Island. That's what? all I'll say. Black. 
Home invasions are the scariest thing ever. That's way Patrice. more scary than getting your car stolen or something like that. Somebody breaking into your house and they're locked behind the door with you. you. Said, That's a very scary thing. Oh, feeling. my God. You said you'd let me be racist for my birthday, Patrice. Happy birthday, yes. <laughs> yeah, it, yes. It's, it's wearing thin with Patrice. Oh, I know. Yeah. He's, like, no, no, disgusted you know, with my racism. No, I'm no, overdoing I, it. I do agree because sometimes I have problems sleeping at night because my door is right on the ground level and shit. I've done Ooh. some things. Damn. I'm not allowed to put bars and shit because it's condos. So I can't put real protective stuff, which is what got an alarm. Better. I got an alarm, yeah, all, right. and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, but one, by the time the fuck? cops show up, that you could be dead. You know, that's I, what I say. You know, I had an apartment in Boston uh, where the door just went right out to the street. It was oh, a two, nice. two family house. And the landlord came one day and took the door. He said, I have to fix the door. We did an episode about it on Lucky Louie. But it oh, was right. True. It's That's true. I was thinking, wait a minute. That didn't happen. Really that was on the show, you asshole. And then really I realized it happened. And I had, I had no door. And it was just. Le and Reggie McFadden was staying over. And uh, he slept in the living room with just an open door. Just on the street. Open door. Open door. Balls, yeah. <laughs> just on the street. <laughs> See I, Somerville, Massachusetts. See Joe, I, I'm uh, I am not going to be somebody that I know. When there is a home invasion, you know the people that are invaded are sitting there going, "God, I just wish I had a gun. I wish I had a gun," and they don't, and they get beaten. Uh, they may have to sit there and watch their wife and daughters be raped. You don't think the home invaders stake out the joint sexy? a little bit? What? <laughs> What what do you think? Get a, if you get a you dog, think they, stake out the, I, I they might they stake stake your home. They out. might. And know who they can do things they to. They might. What, so why wouldn't I be uh, uh, somebody that might look like they could be a victim? Because I'm walking around my house with guns. You ever worried that if you think about this all the time, this is something you dwell on, that you might actually somehow or another manifest it? I don't. There possible? you go. There's the real Joe. Joe is yeah. magical. Yeah. And he likes magical shit. That's why I know. I know Joe believes he fucking floats in in some type of weird Buddha position. Because he smokes pot. Because he smokes a lot of marijuana. He floats in a Buddha position. I know he does. <laughs> Joe can fly. Joe Rogan yeah. can fly. He's a Jedi. And, and I, know. I know he yeah. believes in some of these paranoid, what they call, you know, quote unquote, paranoid things about government. Anybody who smokes as much pot as him will believe anything for a few minutes at least. I know he does heavy thinking, man. I mean, he's, he's, yeah, a he's a very spiritual guy, I know. Yeah. For 30 seconds. yeah, he's yeah. believed in Allah and Jesus Joe believes for a few minutes. in a lot of black people's thoughts. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What? What does that mean? What does that black mean? Black people's paranoia that white people dismiss as nonsense. Hmm. Well, I think there might be something to the idea of thinking on something so long that you can manifest it. See, that's not what I'm doing. I'm being, I'm, I'm prepared. I don't dwell no, on I it. You. I don't sit there and, uh, and, uh, roll, roll out of bed and practice my quick draw. Yes, you, you know. do. No, I don't. Do you ever sleep with a gun under your pillow? Yes. No! That's then why isn't fucking that, dangerous. Yeah, but isn't that what you, when you would be most likely to be invaded? And Dude, where's it's, your gun when you're sleeping? Yeah. About a foot away from me on my oh, night table. All right, all right. <laughs> really? You have so yeah. somebody can sneak up yeah, and really. quietly. Yeah, well, you're you're you know something? Click, click. God bless that fucking ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever like um, investigated on on uh, like Google something one of those mechanisms that make a small derringer slide out of you? No, I've never gone for the taxi driver slip it out of my fucking wrist kind of thing. You don't need that as long as you're you. I have the <laughs> security in knowing I'm an armed citizen in this country. And what That's is your what is your gun of protection? My gun of choice? Uh, the one you carry with you to kill, uh, kill it all black people. It all, to kill black, black people? It all depends on the situation. But uh, I would say uh, uh, to conceal and carry, it's the uh, 40 uh, caliber. And then uh, at home, for the home protection and just the night table, it's uh, 45 with a hollow point. Jesus Christ, you don't fuck around. No. <laughs> that, they aren't getting down the hallway. You know what gun that is? This yeah. is how awful you are. That's mm -hmm. the gun that Chief Brody put cyanide in <laughs> to, to kill Jaws. <laughs> That's how he's going to treat a black man coming to his house, oh. is Jaws. He's going to shoot him with a shark gun. Chief Brody. <laughs> No, you know, you got, and then I have a nine, and that's just for fun. That's for scaring people Which away. Which means you don't believe in guns? I can't carry one. There's no way I can get a fucking gun. See? Um, Why not? Oh, well. Yeah, yeah well. It's, unless it's, you know. Do you have a record? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
What about you, Louie? You have any guns? No, I got kids. I can't have guns. See, kids either. and guns don't mix. It's really yeah, difficult. I, I understand that whole if thing. If I didn't have kids, I'd probably have a gun just for fun. And kids, you could put a fucking gun in a block a fake, of cement, I have a and fake. a kid will fucking shoot into his head. I have a fake gun. <laughs> Dumb fucking kids. I have a Louis replica. Has, Louis has sarcasm. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to just see Louis get pistol whipped with his sarcasm yeah. to yeah. a home invader. Yeah, you want to take it. I ain't using it. That's I actually have Mexican. a replica 9 millimeter that shoots blanks. Well, that's like loud good. blanks. And they'll give you a replica well, beating. Come. And our, my, the country house upstate, and I used to shoot it at the at deer. I used to shoot deer to get <laughs> what, them off what the yard. What do they do? They just look at me. They don't care. <laughs> they, don't they don't care. They actually know they're blanks. They look at me. <laughs> do you also have a switchblade comb? <laughs> <laughs> you guys remember that actor that shot himself in the head a few years ago? John back? Eric Hexum. With yeah, with blanks and killed himself. Yeah, yeah. he had blanks in the blanks gun. He put brilliant. it up to his temple and pulled the trigger, and the temple, part of his skull acted as a bullet because yeah. it was so close to his head yeah. and sent his skull into his brain and killed Stupid him. Stupid asshole. What a dummy. Wow. Stupid dead faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no idea. I have no idea who the It's guy been is. so long that no one around cares about care. him anymore, so I it's don't okay. Care. Yeah. <laughs> I brought it up laughing on a set once when I was on the <laughs> yeah. terrible TV show Hardball. Fuck that and one guy. of the actors actually knew the guy. No. Oh, good. Ooh, Fuck, him Fuck him, too. Fuck him, too. Fucking couple of no stupid I'm... fags. <laughs> <laughs> They're all <laughs> actors are fags. Uh, he said that wasn't the first shot he took to the head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fucking dead, dead. shot in the head and more. load on the chin. Especially with this group. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking asshole. cum joke, for Christ's sake. Uh, Joe Rogan, thanks so much for calling. Yes, uh, Joe, you, thank you. You promoting anything, Joe? Out, you're promoting anything or what? Nope. Nothing good. Just nothing. getting up to say happy birthday, Anthony. Joe. Thank you, Joe thank Rogan. You, Joe. Hey, Joe, Joe, is, Yo. is Kung Lee the best guy in the world right now? No, no, Anderson Silva would kill him. Anderson uh, Cooper? But just he's checking. very good. Yeah. All right, just checking. And I didn't think Anderson Silva and PJ Penn are the two best guys in the world, pound for pound. All right, fair enough. Just... But what do I know? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just guesswork. Joe knows his shit. No, I don't yeah, know that's what I asked him. I was asking. Yeah. Guesswork. Yeah, Patrice is bragging about this. Uh, this, what's his name again? Kung Fu Chung Wan. Kung Lee, man. Kung Lee. I'm, Kung a, I'm a big Frank, uh, Frank uh, Shamrock. Shamrock. I'm a big Frank Shamrock guy, man. And uh, he 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 Kobe, beat Frank pretty bad. Kobe Wang. Well, Frank Kobe is a Wong. very well-rounded guy. Fucking but the Charlie Chan. A lot of well-rounded guys <laughs> is uh, well-rounded guys. A lot of times are not like really good at one specific thing. And when you fight a guy like Kung Lee, who's really good at one specific thing, which is stand up, you know, you, you get fucked up. But he wouldn't take him down, though, Joe. He couldn't Joe. take him down. Kung Lee was a college wrestler with a very good pedigree. He's oh, much he, couldn't, he, than Frank. he couldn't take him down. I thought Frank didn't want to. No, no, he tried to take him down. He okay. tried to take him down, he got stuffed. And how about so Kimbo he was Slice? To stand up with him. Kimbo? How, what do you think of Kimbo Slice? Uh, Kimbo's a tough guy. I mean, anybody who fights in backyards, bare knuckle fights, and then puts it on the internet. No, no, I mean, not his toughness, but <laughs> could he handle. Say Frank Murr or somebody. You know what? Uh, that that all means to be seen. I mean, he has to fight these guys. So who knows? I mean, so far he looks great. And do you it's, do you still have hope in uh, in uh, Brock Lesnar? Is he still? Brock Lesnar is one of those gigantic fucking farm boys with big canned hams for hands. That, that's a scary dude. He's a real all-American wrestler too. It's all the same. I mean, if he, if he dedicates himself 100 percent to MMA, yeah, he could be a force. He's still young. He's still. I mean, he's a huge fucking guy. Because he's incredibly was, athletic. He was throwing Frank Murr around until yeah. he just fucked and up. It's just like what I said about Kung Lee. He's a specialist at one thing. He's a phenomenal wrestler. Those are the most dangerous guys. Are the guys who come into to mixed martial arts with one thing that they do very, very well. You know, whether it's uh, Thai boxing, whether it's boxing, whether it's wrestling. One thing that they're a super specialist at. The well-rounded guys like Frank Shamrock, they always are going to get fucked up by the guys that are specialists, in my opinion. Damn. Huh? Damn. Is, what's his name? Floyd Mayweather really going to do this? Isn't he going to? I don't gonna, think so. Is he going to cross over? They said he's going to cross he's over. Fucking around. No, yeah. he'll, he'll, he'll get come beat on. real bad, man. He's a little guy, but yeah, he's, he's tiny. I mean, he'd, be, he'd be really dangerous if he fought little 147 pound guys. Just right. like you know, the UFC has a 155 pound division, and as long as these guys didn't try to take him down, he'd be really dangerous. But yeah. it would be so easy for them to take him down, and then he would be helpless. Yeah, he would just. I wouldn't. No, he wouldn't be able to wrestle. I wouldn't no. fuck with well, on top of it, Floyd breaks his hands really easily. He's broken. Yeah, his hands he's a got bunch soft. Yeah, yep. And he's got those. He's a defensive guy. He's yeah, like, well, he's he's a good. He's just got that shoulder. He makes people hit him in the shoulder. Hands. Yeah, hmm. Louis, you're all into boxing now, right? I do. I like boxing. 
Are you boxing? I work, out in a bo- I work out in a box. I work out in a boxing gym a lot, and uh, my trainer has me. I, I, he has women fighters that are like professional, and I fight with them. A lot. I'm not allowed to hit them. It's to work on my defense. <laughs> you is, fight is, girls. I fight girls all the time. <laughs> what is with, what is with white guys beating us now? What? White, mm. guy, white guys are, are winning. Are winning the only, like, really angry ones, like Kelly Pavlik and the yeah. Russians. Pavlik Kelly and, Pavlik and is awesome. What, the, the you know boy, Mickey, the boy you know who from, Mickey... uh, the boy from, from what you call? Kalzaghi. Yeah, Kalzaghi, Kalzaghi just yeah. beat up. Yeah, the yeah, Welshman. Kalzaghi. You know Mickey Ward? You remember who he was? Sure. Mickey Ward is uh, working on the movie I'm working on with uh, up in Lowell, Mass, and we're, he's going to start yeah. training me. So I'm training with Mickey Ward, who's a great Irish boxer. That Palooka? Don't ever put great... Uh, yeah. Like, sluggers ever. That greatest. He wasn't great nothing. He was great with Him and God. He was great together. That's right. Yeah. He's a Palooka from South Palooka. Boston, and I don't like him. <laughs> would you north. say? He's from the north. He's from Lowell, from, Lowell it's Mass. All, it's all the same. Would, would, would you call me? <laughs> you heard me, Punchy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you working on, Louie? What is it? I, I'm, it's Ricky Gervais is doing making a movie, and I am play his best friend in a movie. That's huge. Yeah, and that's it has awesome. boxing in it? No, I just box. I've been for the last couple of years working on a boxing gym because <laughs> I like it. I, I was Louis working. I just, shot another, <laughs> I just shot another special, and I was training for the special. And but then I kept going after the special. Let me tell you something. Louis looks just like the guy that raped the guy from Shawshank Redemption. You look like, yeah. oh <laughs> my <laughs> god, oh Jesus! I happily exactly accept like that. Sure. Oh, the head <laughs> sister. Like the head sister. <laughs> Louis wants to rape awesome. people. Totally. Like, totally. <laughs> totally. 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 That'd be great. Oh, totally. is that awful? Yeah. <laughs> no, I like when I was getting ready for the special. I was boxing a lot, with, like sparring with guys. I like sparring and and getting hurt and uh, getting pain. You know what it's like, Joe. Is that a when midlife you're, crisis? No, when you're, you know what? Right what, what, what when you get told me that you started boxing with people, and and I was like, oh man, you got to be real careful. You know who you do that with. Well, because no, I know. I have a trainer who doesn't put me in the ring with anybody who's going to really fuck me up, and uh, I wear headgear and shit and a mouthpiece. Headgear piece. almost protects you less. Yeah, no, I know. I got a black eye right right before the special. I did. I got a black eye, and it oh, barely, nice. barely and you look like you got a dangerous nine inch reach. What, what headgear does? <laughs> <laughs> getting cut, but the really dangerous thing is. Blows to the brain. Yeah, you, you can't see it. You can't see as well. I don't like the headgear. Yeah, I don't like it now? either. Because if it's the thing you get from it is is trying to think under pressure. Because you start as soon as you're in in, in the Play ring. Fucking with, GTA. If you're ring, in the ring with anybody, Jesus. you start panicking and, and breathing too heavily and overusing right. your muscles. So if you can like train yourself to like be really cool and actually use your brain and make decisions. Have you ever under fought? Pressure, Are you it, like it translates fighter? to being a better comedian. It actually does. Are you oh, a fighter? Sure. The pressure. It does. Part. Yeah. yeah. What have you, are you? Have you ever like fought in real life? Like getting gotten in fights? Not and... really. No. I mean, so, I never backed down. I was always bigger than kids my age. Really? So kids, nobody what, really. Did you picked... go to school, China? <laughs> 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 nobody ever really picked fights with me when I was a kid. I never backed down from anything. But nobody ever really. Really? Yeah, I never really. But were got you in a scared fight. when you like had a one line kid? Because one... I was always fucking petrified. Whenever it was like, oh, oh my God, I'm getting in a fight. Holy when I, shit, when this I was sucks. in high school, when I was a senior in high school, a freshman out of nowhere, this little Irish fucking tough kid Hi. started picking fights. You look like the like Notre he, Dame logo. He just picked me out in the hallway and said, "Hey, you faggot, fuck you" or something. And I said, "And I said, fuck you." And he goes, "What do you mean, fuck you?" I'm like, "You just said faggot, fuck you," so I said, "Fuck you back." And he's like, "Don't say fuck you to me. I'll kick your ass." And he and I and he started his fight with me. And I was and every time I saw him, he'd go, he'd threaten to kick my ass. And I just, I, I was scared of him. He was much smaller than me. And that's why but I was scared of him. Because that guy just MySpaced him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hey, hey fuck, fuck you, faggot. I'll see you in Philly. <laughs> exactly. I know where you're going to be. Hey, Joe, and, and Joe, Joe's been there. I just want to say, I, I, I haven't met Joe till later, much later when I started. I was, he had left Boston. But Joe was known to be dangerous since 91. Like oh, when yeah, I first started so. comedy, mm-hmm. they yeah. were like, Joe Rogan, we'll be they were ad. so happy for him. To leave, because <laughs> Joe well, I never fucking. Did to anybody. But the, the, no, the Joe never idea with anybody. just the thought of, of it. you, yeah, you know, the idea of it was his. He was legend. That is his. Now like, the story I remember hearing fear. about Joe was that when he was in high school, and actually I think he told me the story because it was a lesson in what how to re- really defend yourself. That some kid came up to him in the lunch line in high school and started talking some shit to him. 
And most people like wait for the drama to build and for the fight. <laughs> what was this juvie? And wait for a, a bunch of kids to gather and right. start saying fight, <laughs> fight, <laughs> fight. But as soon as a kid came up to him in a threatening manner and said one word, Joe just punched him in the chest really hard, <laughs> and the kid fell down. And his face fell right in the potato pot yeah. and jello. Yeah. And it was all fucking. It was Joe over. knew the prison rules early. You yeah. know, you just got to take out Somebody the guy. Goes, hey well, man. Yeah. I was never very big. I was always a short dude. Yeah. So. In, in high school, I was an easy guy to pick on, and I, I didn't like the whole idea of getting hit first and yeah. having to recover, so I'm like, mm. I, I, w I never picked on anybody. I never started fights ever, but if somebody was going to start a fight with me, for sure I was going to hit him first. Yeah, preemptive George Bush stuff. And I, and I, nice. <laughs> it works. And I commend George Bush stuff, because then I'd pick on people who weren't even picking on me. Yeah. And I commend, I commend you, right? I did. I, I never told you this, but I think I did, but anyway, that you never hit Carlos. Oh, I would I, never I, hit that guy. That, like, he himself is punishment I, I, enough. He never, he never, <laughs> and any time I saw, was looking at any YouTube, any, I just go, oh, no, man. He's going to punch him. Does it, doesn't he know? And <laughs> yeah. it's just like, you know, because something that changed kill me. Because I've seen Joe in men's You health. can see it in Carlos's eyes in the clip. <laughs> in men's like, health. I, he was, Joe is in men's health. Yeah, he's on the cover of if men's health. If you're in men's just health magazine. Just doing one finger push-ups. <laughs> like, I'm, yeah. I'm like, Jesus, he's going to kill Carlos. Oh, but he shit. never, he never fucking... Got to that mode, which was like, you know, I was happy for them, mm. you know, because it was almost like that goading, yeah, yeah, hit me thing. Yeah, and, but you and, could you know, see it in Carlos's eyes, like, yeah, I've heard this guy kicks people's asses. You could see him holding back a little yeah, bit. Yes, Carlos yeah. stopped short a yeah. lot of times, just yeah. uh, short of Joe kicking his ass. He <laughs> a little bitch quite a few times, though, which I thought was pretty bold. Mm. Oh, good bitch. math. <laughs> I, would call, I would call Joe a little bitch. It's like a little dog barking at you, like, oh, look at this cute little thing. <laughs> Just give him a fucking fear factor beating, make, make him eat a, a sheep uterus. While he's kicking him in his face. Sheep uterus. <laughs> eat, eat, eat this cow tongue, bitch. <laughs> Shove his face in back. <laughs> Uh, let's get uh, Joe. Joe, thank you so much for calling for Anthony. Oh, thank birthday. you guys. You know what? Every time I call in, it's always the same. I always get jealous. I feel like you guys are having so much fun. I wish I was there. Well, come see us, man. I would, yeah, I would, anytime, man. If I was in New York, for sure I would. All right, cool. See you, Joe. Take care, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thanks, Thanks man. Later. Joe Rogan, everyone. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. Joe's and, a good uh, shit. And we'll like continue. Louis C.K. Uh, Louis C.K. In, in studio, but also Patricia O'Neill is going to be at Giggles in Seattle next weekend. Thank you. Boom. I like guns. I love being armed. Are you insane? No. No. You know, some girls actually enjoy having a gun put to their head while you fuck them. Shut up. Shut up. He's nuts. He's just fucking nuts.